Okay, today we're gonna be doing upper and lower grill, and then after that we're gonna be fine tuning the bumper. It is a little bit rough still where the crack happened, so I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit and then it should be good. There's the upper grill, there's lower grill, CJ pointy parts sent on over a brand new top grill. I already opened up this one to show on my Instagram. It looks so good. That quality on that snake is insane. So as this is the OEM part, it is just going to easily clip on right onto the bumper. It's not going to be any sort of fabrication or anything like that. It should be easy. Plug and play. Super easy. And the grill is looking mean as hell. I love how that looks. I'm going to have to black this out. I'm not trying to copy on any sort of logo or say that i'm a shelby uh, clearly i am gonna rock that i'm a v6 mustang till the day i die i love this car and i love the platform it is so but that snake does look impressive as far as this i think i've seen people just take this off so i think i'm just gonna heat this up yeah i can just heat it up and then peel it off i'm just gonna do that lower grill right down there Okay, so for some reason, this bottom grill is not fitting in. This one fits in perfectly. I don't get it. Like, it's meant to be in here. But, like, for some reason, this, as you see, whenever you line it up and you push it back, it just doesn't, it hits, it hits back there. It won't go in. Like, it's just stuck there. So, I don't know if I just cut this out and then put this, clip it in. Because I do believe if I do that, do that, it would clip in. But I'm just worried that I'm going to... Yeah, it's just hitting right there. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong. I got to... I'm going to play around and see what I want to do. I don't know if I want to cut this or if I want to cut my bumper. Okay, so this doesn't make much sense to me. CJ Pony Parts bumper that they send you for a front-end conversion swap looks like this. There are versions without the holes, but there are versions with the holes. And they also send you this exact piece. So they're saying that this should be able to fit up with this, but it doesn't. It wears right along here. So I might just have to cut that off, preserving this uh, press-in hook. And then cut off some piece of this. I don't know where exactly. I'm thinking from about here to about here. Work it on this side. See how it feels. And if it does snap in, do the same over there. But um, I really don't want to be cutting up this bumper. So be the front of my bumper is shaped out a little bit. Just because I'm using the factory uh, crash piece right here. So... As far as this, what it could be doing is pushing against this and moving up a little bit. I know it's kind of stiff up here, but it's, it feels good right here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just modify, cut down the piece of plastic, which is rubbing right here, on the cheaper part, which would be the lower grill. See if that fixes it. If that does fix it, I'll just hook it right back up and continue. But if not, we're going to have to try to do some surgical work on this. It is just for myself, so I don't really care about the bumpers prestigeness i'm just gonna if i do end up doing anything else with this car like getting a new car i'm gonna be keeping the bumper for myself so as far as that i don't really care i'm gonna make it work either way so the front of this i'll lay this down in the meantime what i'm gonna do is with this i'm just gonna make a paint white line of where it's actively touching for right now and then i'm gonna cut it off and then see just keep doing it play by ear by ear so first i'm gonna mark it up very close there's a little bit more rubbing as you see i cut down this part right here i didn't do this one as smooth as down there as you can see but this is hanging out now as well so i'm gonna do the same thing to this just smooth out this line cut it down from here to here and then hopefully i can get back to this one and make sure that it's perfectly flat because this was a bit rough so
Okay, so this is it. As you look, you can see that the body lines are now flat. There is no visible or even, I can't feel the line anymore. This is flat. So, kind of see it all there. It flows. That is the same shape as this fender. There's gonna be a slight divot right here, which is the same spot on the other side. So it's looking good as far as fender work and everything. I feel like it's really came along. I'm a little mad I can't get this done today. I'm gonna get it done next video, but um, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. I don't wanna proceed with editing this too much. My final thought is also if this doesn't fit and this is pushing out too much on my crash bar or this piece of styrofoam right here if that's pushing out too much i'm gonna have to sand it back or cut it back and then i want to make sure where my hood line is is actually going to sit correct before I, I edit this or edit that at all so still got like four more days on my hood so i'm gonna wait for that but in the meantime when i take this bumper off i'm gonna be stalling the headlights in my next video and then i'm gonna be putting the bumper back on and then fitting up the bumper with the hood and that's gonna be that's going to be the front end transformation right there. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to have I'm going to have a new video up in about 4 days. Slow motion. Come stay the